I've been able to spend a week driving this 2021 Honda Accord Touring and I've got some things that I like and things that I don't like. Now real quick, I want you to know I have a full detailed review of this Accord and some lower trim level Accords in the description below. If you want to see all the details, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now starting with my dislikes, in no particular order, we're going to hop inside. It's something that's a little disappointing. It has to do with this. So it's not the screen, it's not the system, it's nothing like that. It's the fact that the audio system in here just flat out stinks. So we've got 10 speakers, 450 watts, so you think it would be okay. You can even adjust the subwoofer, but it just doesn't sound very good. And one reason it's a dislike is because I was just in the Honda Civic and they now have the Bose audio system, which definitely sounds better than this Accord. So if you got a Civic, it's gonna sound better than the Accord. And compared to everything that I've been in lately, this is just so much inferior to those. It can get loud, so if you just want it to be loud, it can get loud, but it just doesn't sound very good. But I think this is probably my least favorite thing. It's the road noise in here, and we're just about to get on a rough textured road. I complained about with this with the Civic as well. It's not the engine noise, it's the road noise. We have laminated glass, so you don't get a ton of bad wind noise around the pillars. But when you get on a textured road like this, this isn't even that bad as, as a lot of them around here. They have like rocky textures, gravelly textures. But a lot of the highways, I just, you get so much road noise in here. More than you should in this class. And I'm complaining about it because several of the lower class cars I've tested lately, like again, the Hyundai Elantra, the Mazda 3, just to name a couple of them, give you quieter cabins. This is the Touring Accord. It should be quieter than this. I'm definitely a little bit bummed with Honda's road noise. Now my next two dislikes are gonna kind of fall under the hood in this category. The, the first thing about under here is the fact that there's no all wheel drive available at all. Even though some of the recent competitors have added it and Subaru has had it forever. So Subaru's got it, Toyota has added all wheel drive, Nissan's added all wheel drive and probably more to come, but Honda hasn't given us all-wheel drive. They make you go up to Acura if you want it. It would be nice if they would at least offer all-wheel drive on the Accord. The next thing is that you can no longer get the Accord with just a regular naturally aspirated engine. There's no naturally aspirated V6. There's no naturally aspirated four-cylinder. There is a naturally aspirated four-cylinder with the hybrid, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just your basic straight shooting, naturally aspirated engine. If you get the regular gas Accord, it's gonna be two turbocharged options. And then if you get the hybrid, of course you have the electric motor and battery paired with that. So I wish that they still offered it, even though the turbos are efficient and that two liter turbo is very peppy, it would still be nice to see. All right, now moving on to my likes. In no particular order, the first thing I'm gonna like is the balance of ride and handling in this car. So it, it's, it's still a hybrid in this particular model, but I'm talking about all Accords. The steering feels good for the most part. The ride comfort is balanced to where usually you get a more plush ride, more lackadaisical steering or great handling and not the best ride. But this is a great balance of the two. I really don't have any complaints at all with the steering and handling and ride comfort of this Accord. I just love the balance of the two, especially when you get the touring model on the gas Accord. It does a really, really nice job. Now my next like is twofold. It's gonna have to do with two parts of the car. It's the fact that the Accord is super spacious, not only with its trunk space, which is 16.7 cubic feet. You even have a couple of hooks, one on each side. The trunk is absolutely massive for this class. It's like a large sedan type of trunk but it's also that the back seat is really spacious too. Leg room is very spacious. It's a wide back seat. And the fact that I can even have my car seat sitting behind myself, I'm five foot nine, and I can have it behind where I like to sit comfortably without having to move my seat. That's pretty rare. Most vehicles, I have to move my seat forward a little bit to fit a rear facing car seat, but leg room is excellent. Now my next like is gonna be the fact that our hybrid model gives us a really good dedicated EV mode. So some EV modes, you're limited to speed, you're limited to throttle, and you are to an extent with this Accord, but I put it in EV mode. So with this hybrid, it's gonna keep us in just pure electric mode, no gas engine, and you can actually get up to a good speed without it really 
stinking. And you've got decent acceleration. Oh, it just canceled the EV mode. So if you get on it enough, it'll cancel it. Let me put it back in EV mode. EV mode's back on. And you can still somewhat accelerate. You can get up to a better speed. I'm going almost 40 miles an hour right now. Just pure electric mode. And it'll let you do this for a while until you accelerate too much or until you run out of battery. But you can cruise around quite a bit in just EV mode, which is really awesome. It's almost like a, an electric car part of the time, even though this isn't a plug-in hybrid. I still like that, that availability. Now my next like is that Honda improved the headlights. The best headlights now get a top good rating because they're longer, wider, and they have less glare. Whereas last year, the top headlights got a moderate rating, which is the third best and definitely not as good as these current headlights. If you wanna see this, I have a night review showing them off. So be sure to check that in the description below. Now the next thing that I like is gonna come back to this screen and I talked about the audio system. This isn't about the audio system. It's about that we have wireless, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Now that's becoming more and more popular, but we also have a wireless charger and I've got nothing plugged in here. It's just completely wireless. My phone is right here and I love the fact that it can be wireless. I think this can help prevent people from wanting to use their phone, having clutter and cords and stuff like that. Now you can't get it on the base models, but I think it's just about every trim level up from the base. And one reason I like it in this video is because several vehicles I've been in lately don't have the wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. And some of them were even 2022 models. So I'm glad that Honda added it for 2021. Now another like is gonna be inside and it's something small, but makes a big difference. So I complained about the Civic not having any lumbar support at all. The Accord gives you four-way lumbar support on just about every trim level except the base model. That really helps because a lot of times the standard lumbar is a little low or a little high for some people. You can move the lumbar up and down and in and out. That is really nice. And for some reason, Honda still doesn't give the Civic any lumbar support at all. So to wrap things up on some of the things that I like and don't like, there's definitely a lot more that I like about the Accord. And obviously I was nitpicking, so don't be too hard on me. But if you wanna see the full review, be sure to check it out in the description below where I go into all the details, a good test drive, and all of that good information. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear what you like or don't like about the Honda Accord and the different trim levels. Leave your comments down below, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, and subscribe if you wanna see more good and bad type of videos like this. Thank you so much and have a good day.